Hello everyone and welcome back. So today's little video which I'm going to put on to you, guys I say I'm still out busy um, doing other things, which is one of the old ones, is how to navigate using the sun. So not, not, not just using the sun to um, either east or west, and actually give it a bit more of an accurate sort of um, system over there, like making a compass out of the sun, like a sun, like a mobile sundial. So um, that is what we're going to be doing today. So using a natural resources or scrap bit of paper, um, you could build yourself your own little sundial to navigate. Through. So but today I haven't really got too much sun where I am currently, but you can use this or you just need that one little bit of sun to help you out. So check this out and I'll see you very shortly when we get back out in the woods. Bye then. Hello everyone and welcome back to UK Survival, my name is Pete and today, okay, <coughs> morning everyone. So I've finished my crude little rain cover backpack, collecting some snails. Oh, I'm just getting the crickets and the mushrooms. And here we are, a nice crispy grasshopper. Pull this inside, coming clear water. There's a fighter! There's a fighter! Hi, hi Cubs and welcome to the Outdoor Box. So in today's little outdoor challenge, we are going to be building ourselves a nice sun compass. So if you've ever been outside in the woods and or walking around in the mountains and you don't actually know which direction you have, so sometimes, hopefully, when we're out camping properly, we might have things like this. A good old faithful compass. But what if we left that compass behind? What if we stopped or broke the compass or, or the compass wasn't working one day? Sometimes you get a compass and they stick and sort of on there. So what would I do if I needed to find my way out of the woods or out of the, or out of the mountains? I could build myself my own compass. That is what we're going to do today. So you're going to need the following items to do this. Okay, so for your sun dial, you're going to need these five items. So the first one you want is some sort of circle. So I'm using a, a standard a standard camping plate. We've all got those. We all go camping. So you can grab your go to your, go to your camping store, and grab out your plate, and then get that. You want a, either a, a thick black crayon or a marker, so you can actually draw on the draw. You get a cardboard. So I've got a bit of white cardboard. You can use a cardboard box or something like that. As long as it's bigger than the plate and it's fairly sturdy. Don't use a bit of paper because it's not going to work. So a bit of cardboard, a pair of scissors to cut out your your compass and a stick or pencil. Uh, it depends on what you want to use. So this is the items we need. So let's get on and actually start building our sun compass. Right, so the first thing, when you cardboard, put your plate in the center and then grab your circle, going all the way around. Yeah, so we can draw all the way around the plate. So we've got our compass face. Yeah, so that's step one. Once we've done step one, if you've got a straight edge, yeah, you can draw do, do the ruler at this stage, but I'm just going to freehand it by now. So you're going to find the center and just put a little dot just inside the center. And then we want to put this to quarters. But don't go straight down like that because it's not going to work. We're going to go diagonal across. Yeah, so we go all the way over through our center hole and on the other side, and then all the way down again and then that side. So we've got ourselves our compass face. Do you then want to write north, south, and this is where it gets different. You want east, west. Yeah, opposite say what the opposite say round. Okay, so the reason we want to do this is when we have a shadow, if we see on here at the moment I've got a shadow sticking over. The shadow, if the sun is coming up in the east, that means the sun's going to be behind me. So therefore, the shadow is going to be inside the west section. Likewise, if I was in the west, and then I stand with my back towards the sun, the sun is going to be in front of me inside the east section. So we need to make sure we switch the east and west rounds. So when we're looking at our shadow, the shadow is going to be in the exact direction we're facing, not inside the direction where the shadow is. So if the shadow's in the east, section that means we're east if the shadows inside the west section that means we are facing west if the shadows in the south we're facing south if there's no shadow that's because you're facing north yeah we'll see that very shortly so next phase we want to do is get our scissors we want to cut out our sun compass 
Okay, so we've now got our nice compass. All we need to do now is put a hole in the center. And then we can get ourselves a stick to go through that hole or the pencil. And now, this is all we actually really need for the sun compass. So we've got everything we need. We've got the, the pointer hand or the sun dial. We've got a north, south, east and west. So all we can do now, we can go out to the sun and we'll see exactly how it actually works. Okay, so we've now gone out to the sun and we're gonna see if this thing actually works. So how we set it up, we put the stick in the center and we have the north actually facing towards you and you keep it nice and tight to your body. And then all we're gonna do is look at the direct, look at the direction of the shadow and the sh wherever the shadow currently is inside my circle is the direction I'm facing. So that's like the northern pointer if you, if you can think of it. Yeah, so the shadow currently is inside the east section. So if I walk in this direction towards you to towards the camera, I'm walking east. If I turn myself to this side, yeah, there's no shadow now. The reason is, it's because there's a very, very slight shadow you can just see on there, because the sun's quite high in the sky. But if there's no shadow, and you, if you go any other direction, and you can see shadow, and you go back to this direction, you know you are facing north. Yeah, so over there. So we'll just wait for the, the sun just behind the cloud. So this thing only works when you've got sunlight. Yeah, so. If you're in woodlines and tree blocks, you can go between different trees there areas and look up the canopy and make sure you've got some space above you. So we're gonna go out again and I'm gonna get a compass this time and I'm gonna to prove to you it actually works. Okay, so we've got our sun dial, which is just down here. And I'm, gonna, I'm facing, well the dial's always facing north towards me. And what I'm gonna do now, you can see the shadow is inside the east quadrant. Yeah, it's sort of on there. So just to say, so I'm facing roughly east at the moment. If I set my compass up. So now, if you see there, if I'm looking at my compass, you can see the northern pointer is on the northern line, where on my shadow stick, that northern pointer is the, on, on the east section. Yeah, so that's how we do it on there. So I know that where the shadow is, it's the direction I'm facing on my sundial. If I'm using a compass, yeah, I'd set my compass to north, and now if you look on the top of the compass, where the direction of travel arrow is on the east sort of section. So that's how they work, but nice and easy. The shadow is telling me which direction I'm facing, so I can just walk off in that way. Okay, Cubs, hope you enjoyed this activity. So get yourself out there, get in your garden. Find out which direction are you facing. Just need a bit of this. All this, a couple of sticks, a bit of crayon, draw yourself in a circle, put the north over east west, and just remember, always have north at the very top of your compass, and then you'll find your own way.